is your controller. That one there is all your controller wire. The first wires going into it or coming out of it are your motor. Now don't forget your earth on your motor must go to the earth coming in. Okay, it, your earth cannot be switched. You cannot put a switch on your earth. It's got to be continuous. The continuity's got to be all the way through. All right, and then you go live next to your earth and then neutral. Okay, so basically we're all wired up now. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to plug it in. You're watching, so I'll just move everything out of the way. Got the remote, I've got that. I'll just zoom it back a little bit now. A bit more real where we are. Okay, right. The motor's on the floor still, but I'm going to uh, plug this in when I find the wire in the plug. Okay, I'll plug this in. Now, let's see what happens. Right, okay, where's the motor? Make sure it's not to uh... <coughs> start. Right, it's working. It's taken an awful long time to get up to speed. These are set, I think these are preset at about 15 seconds before they hit 50 hertz. So the motor's going to be like creeping up to 50 hertz for 1400 revs, exactly about 15 seconds. Right, we'll stop that. Okay, There's something else about these, these uh, inverters. There's no job facility. The job doesn't work on them. Right. There's no jog. I'll wait for it to stop and you'll see. There's no jog. It doesn't work. It's on the board, but it doesn't work. There, look. Okay. Right. Acceleration. 15 seconds it's set at. And if you can see that. Back out of it. Oh, my limit. And no, 15 seconds. And deceleration is 15 seconds as well. So we'll, we'll, let's program them first. Okay, so we know that it's, it's 01, 01, 09, 01, 09 and 01, 10. All right, so we'll press program. Okay, that's program. Okay, so we want it to go up to 09. Okay, so it's now showing 0109. Okay, then I press OK and it's got 15 seconds on it. So I want to bring that down to about, I'll bring it down to about 2 seconds, which is about right. What's the loading? Two seconds. Now we'll press on that, OK. OK. Right, and now we're going to go up to, okay, all right, and we're going to go up to one more, which is 10, press OK. Once again, it's on 15 seconds, so we'll bring that down. To two again, and then we'll press OK. Okay, so we register it in there. All right, and program. Now, that's the speed. So what we should be able to do now is switch it on, and it should go straight up to 50 hertz. In two seconds, okay? That's what it's done. So we'll take it off and it should close down in 50 seconds. Two seconds. Okay, so that's what we've got now. So now what we've got, we've got it moving up the scale for two, two seconds and down again, closing off. Right, what we got to do now? Now here is the, uh, the one that is really, really funny, that it doesn't tell you in the book, okay? Which is 0122, so we program. And we'll go 01, we'll put that up to 22. Right, okay. 
And now it's, it only goes up, it says, zero is forward reverse mode, one is run forward reverse, and two is three wired, three wired mode. Well, okay, fine. So we'll put it on three. Three is not in the manual. Okay, if you look at that there, this part here, it only goes up to two. Doesn't tell you three, but we're going to put it on to three. All right, so we do it common. Press OK again. Press OK again. Right, program. Right, what we're going to do now is we want to make sure that it works on an external uh, external uh, remote. So we'll go to, we'll program this to 01, OK, to 01. Now, 01 will change to, we'll put OK, it's on 1, we'll change it to 0. OK. Right, OK again, 0, OK, and then we'll go to 0102. OK. Right. External 0. Right, so what we're going to do with this one, we go OK, it's on 1 again. We want to change that to 0. And then we press OK. OK again to make sure it's on 0. OK, and then program. OK. OK. Keep pressing program and it goes off. Now, now you've put them parameters in that I've told you. Let's have a look at what's going on. No buttons are working on the remote. Okay. So it's finished. The remote's not work. Sorry, on the on the inverter. So nothing's working. So what we're going to do now, just push that out of the way a fraction. Let's go back. Right. Come into our remote. Let's see if this works. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Two problems we had. The first one, the potentiometer was working backwards. Right. All we do is change the brown wire and the black wire. All right. Just swap them round, and that'll make the, the potentiometer work the right way round. Okay. So when you put it on fast, normally it should be fast. Right, it's going slow. Just turn the black and the brown wires round. Now, the other problem I found we had was the motor itself. Uh, it was, when I switched it on forward, it was going anti-clockwise. Well, I like my motors to go clockwise. When forward, they go clockwise. So what you do is you change two of the phases. Uh, the two phases are in the uh, inverter. So you would take out, say, a, a brown wire and a black wire, and just swap them round. The two phases that are going to your motor only, no one else, not the live neutral earth, the two phases that are going to your motor, which are, there's three phases, you change two of them over, okay? That'll sort that problem out that I had, or did sort that problem out that I had. Uh, so basically this kit's all ready to go.